Hello and welcome to our training. On this particular training, we're going to be talking about the actual dial session, the calls that you're making using phone burner when you initiate the session from the Zoho CRM. Now keep in mind at this point, we've already installed the phone burner extension into our Zoho CRM environment. We have also talked about how to begin a dial session from within the Zoho CRM. And now we're going to be talking about what to do when you're making calls. So at this point, we're looking at what's called the dial session settings. These are the specific settings for this specific dial session. Now a dial session is a group of contacts that we've selected to call. And some of the settings that we can adjust is the voicemail recording. Now the voicemail in phone burner is an outgoing message that you can instantly drop if somebody does not answer the phone. Dialing set and live answer sets, these are referring to the dispositions or buttons that will be on the screen as you're making calls. We'll actually talk about these a little bit more once we get into the dial session itself. Caller ID, you actually have the ability to control the caller ID that is visible to your contacts as you're making calls through phone burner. Now the last option that I have listed here is the enable call recording, and I have that set to yes. So we're going to go ahead and continue. And now I just need to get my phone connected to the phone burner system. Using phone burner is very simple. It works with your existing phone and your existing computer. And the way you connect the two is with a simple phone call. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to call this number on the screen to get connected. Once I've called that number and I get connected, we click start dialing. And now we're starting to call the first contact on our list. Now let's say we're calling this first contact and they don't answer, it goes to voicemail. We don't have to listen to the entire greeting. We don't have to wait for the beep. We can click the voicemail button and instantly we're off to the next call and the system will stay on the line waiting for the beep and play our message. Now we're calling the next contact. Let's say they pick up the phone live. We just have a conversation like we would with anyone else. There's no pause, no delay, no awkward silence. At some point during this call, we'll click live answer. And when we're done talking to the contact, we're going to go ahead and end the call. When we end the call, we'll have plenty of time to add additional notes. We'll also be able to update fields that had come over from Zoho. Now keep in mind, the fields that you will see on your end will be different than the fields that you see on the screen. Because Phone Burner will take the data or custom fields that you create in your account and it'll bring those over into the phone burner dial session. You can update these fields as well. So let's say I've talked to the Nightcrawler and I understand he's got a new title. Maybe he's now the CEO. So I can update his title and any other fields and the system will push those updates back to Zoho so that the data in Zoho is updated based off of the changes you made during the dial session. And now I can click on the disposition button down here across the bottom that makes the most sense for the outcome of the call. Now these disposition buttons at the bottom of the screen are completely customizable. You can create as many buttons as you want or need to fit what you're trying to accomplish with your calls. Now in this case, I'm going to go ahead and mark this contact as interested, and we'll move on to the next call. And here we're calling the daredevil. Once again, if it goes to voicemail, you can click the voicemail button and you're instantly moved on to your next call. Now remember, we'd only selected three contacts to call in this specific session, so our session is now over. And that's a basic overview of how you navigate a dial session that you've launched from the Zoho CRM. Let's go ahead and move on to the next training.